Hello from Paris. Um, this is Zach again. I uh, just wanted to make an audio dialogue about what's been going on here in Paris. Um, a lot of crazy things. Let's see, from squat to squat, my stuff has been stolen, broken, got attacked by stupid so-called artistic Nazis from the Lemire tree. Wonderful guys named Fred and Pat, but I didn't press charges. I just cops came and I got my stuff and they didn't get to keep it. So that's how it goes. Um, let's see, Paris. I've slept on the streets. I forget how many nights. But it seems just about every night when I sleep on the streets there's some drunk asshole that doesn't have anything to do. So I'm actually really sick of getting into fights. <sighs> um, let's see. I was staying at a squat called the uh, Culture Palace, and there was a chick, a very psycho chick. Um, let's see, what did she do? It was pretty incredible. Um, she walked around the place for about three days following me, not really saying anything to me, just sitting next to me waiting for me to talk to her. I didn't talk to her. She's not my type. She just kind of gave me the creeps. But a really beautiful girl. Um, let's see. From there, my cell phone came up missing uh, the day after she sang to me for about four hours. Love songs, acapella on a mic like I have right now talking to you. And um, to make a long story short, uh, I lost all my contacts because someone stole my cell phone. Well, I had to get on the mic and tell her I didn't know her. She doesn't know me. Everything that she knows and likes about me is completely superficial or because I'm just talented or whatever. And I guess I just really upset her. So she ended up walking around the squat that night crying. So I left, walked around Paris, came back at about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning and the cops were there. They shut it down. So um, then she asked me if I want to go to her place while we were standing outside in front of uh, the Culture Palace with cops and I said you have a place how could you put yourself through all of this and she said uh, oh, I'm an artist I need a place to work and I wanted to say I haven't seen you do any work in the last week I mean you put up art that looks like you did it in like a few hours but I didn't say that so um, anyways uh, uh, the guy at Culture Palace had a place for us to stay Two of his friends came and picked me and the girl up. We went to an unfinished apartment. It was one room. I was in one room with this chick. And um, so to make a long story short, she started getting at me again and staring at me and asking me questions that I didn't want to answer. So I said, look, you know what? I can't do this. I don't care if it's an apartment. I mean, you just, you have your place and you're still here and it doesn't make any sense to me so in actuality what I did was I just left and I went to the tech squad um, told them the situation I stayed there one night I wake up guess who's lurking over me and the first thing I see when I wake up the next day that chick so that's just one story of Paris um, so here's another story. Um, I ended up sleeping like two or three nights on the street. Came back to the tech squad because I couldn't find any place. And I just needed a breather from the streets. And so they, uh, I don't know, man. They're some really smart guys. And so they asked me a question about this. And they started asking me a question about why did I come to Paris? Why did I... Uh, unfortunately have to go through all this bullshit so this is what I told him um, I told him the truth I told him about my girlfriend uh, the Romanian girl that was taken in by the female cartel how uh, the US consulate how no one would do shit she came up missing like that so they couldn't believe it and I said well man you guys have been asking me for like 30 minutes 45 minutes why did I come to Paris I told you why 
So then uh, one of the guys that have a problem with me, one of the tech experts, um, I get a nice little, uh, what do you call it, a nice little picture pop up on my laptop. And it's a guy in a milk outfit, a milkman outfit. He has a blue van, and on this blue van, um, there's a, well, there's nothing on it. There's a door open to where like a wheelchair or some sh kind of shit you can wheel it up to the van and, and on the picture it says welcome to my happy rape van so this was somebody's joke at the tech squad for making fun of what I just told them which is not a joke I mean everyone from Russian Secret Service to Romanian Secret Service know about this this is why I uh, left Romania under S police escort. I mean, I worked there in the music industry for five years. I turned down the biggest mafia guys that are the head of the female cartel, Nika Gedu, Levi Moranu. They know me. I know them. I hate them. So, uh, anyway, so this happened like a few days ago. I really wanted to just uh, really kick someone's ass, but I just kept cool. Um, and I just left. Um, and thank you to my friend um, Pierre that helped me find the place where I'm at now. I've been here for about three days. It's my fourth day. So they said I could stay here four or five days. I don't know. People say different things. I'll probably be moving on really soon because I don't stay where I'm not welcome. Um, I just have to make a video log of it so I can upload this and keep track of it and let people know what's going on. Um, so I really haven't found another place to stay. I've just been trying to get some rest and clear my head because Paris is Paris is fucked up. Uh, it's really fucked up. Um, the mentality of the city, the places, it's just it's 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 incredible. Uh, it's actually unbelievable. So um, this is a chaos, Zach. Uh, probably. Upload this, put a picture to it, make a video, whatever. Uh, I just woke up, had a lot of things on my mind. But Paris is just really fucked up. So, uh, I don't know. Um, hopefully I'll find a place to go. But um, if I don't, I'll be in the Bastille emceeing again. For my wonderful Americans coming to see shitty Paris. Hmm. So, um, anyways, have a good day. Thank you for your time. Um, hopefully something will give. This is the greatest time for us to be alive. I mean, it's a worldwide revolution. Um, oh, let me not forget about one thing. HSBC. Uh, I took out my rich family's bank, um, the Rothschilds, because they are my cousins. Um, through slave lineage, because in America, I mean, who controlled the slaves? Rothschilds and the Windsors, of course. So, here I am. So, I went into HSBC a few weeks ago, and I informed a stockbroker that I wanted my LTV. That's a loan towards value on my straw man bond. My straw man bond is my birth certificate. The straw man bond, um, some people say, is worth millions, billions, who knows? They've been trading it since the day I was born. So I informed a stockbroker uh, how to trace it, what it is, broke it down to him, and uh, I accidentally blew the cover off the Rothschilds and the Windsor's money stash in New Zealand. Because this is where they stashed these trillions and trillions of um, dollars that they've been trading. Uh, on the stock market secretly because the straw man bond it's it's a secret I mean it's a it's a bond but they tell you it's your birth certificate which it's not so they trade this money on the stock market um, since the day you're born you have a birth certificate look on the spot where it should say your mother it doesn't it says inform it and if you take your attention to the lower right hand corner that nu nice number it's not your security, social security number. It's just a number, right? No. It's your stop trading number. That's the number that you trace to find out how much this bond is worth 
that they've been trading secretly on the stock market since the day you've been born. So when I did this, I informed HSBC, a low-level stock trader, of what they do on the highest level. So what he discovered was this trace had been done from this bank, or this bank had access to uh, these accounts, and they had been accessing these accounts normally. So I guess uh, he was a whistleblower. He informed people his name will stay out of my mouth. And the HSBC execs were thrown in jail. Um, an international banking meeting was called in China. And my fourth cousin, um, Ernest, was called there. And he informed me that the Bilderbergs were not even let in the meeting. Jay Rockefeller was kicked out by, you know, Chinese guard. So this is what's been going on politically in the world. Um, I know everybody lives in their own world and thinks that, you know, their shit is more important than everybody else's shit. But honestly, it's not because it's all connected. So um, this is my story from Paris. Uh, I don't know. I can't wait to leave this place. <laughs> I get completely treated like shit. Everybody is just all up in their own bullshit world so-called artist well I mean I would like to leave it at this what do you call an artist I mean I paint MC make music dance poetry hmm. I mean I haven't met not one artist in Paris that does more than me I mean they, yeah they paint someone sings someone draws someone makes music but they never do it all I do it all and then when they learn about this it's just complete jealousy hatred because maybe a girl wants to talk to me or something or interested or whatever this is Paris this is why I can't find a place to stay from other people talking shit and other squats and this squat and this squat when I leave here I'll never fucking come back to this city it's the most fucked up experience. I, I really miss Romania, <laughs> to tell you the truth. So anyways, this is the AKOS. Thank you for your time. Stay blessed. These from the Lemira Tree. Wonderful guys named Fred and Pat, but I didn't press charges. I just... Cops came and I got my stuff and they didn't get to keep it. So that's how it goes. Um, let's see, Paris. I've slept on the streets. I forget how many nights. But it seems just about every night when I sleep on the streets, there's some... Um, she walked around the place for about three days following me. Not really saying anything to me. Just sitting next to me waiting for me to talk to her. I didn't talk to her. She's not my type. She just kind of gave me the creeps. But a really beautiful girl. Um, let's see, from there, my cell phone came up missing uh, the day after she sang drunk asshole that doesn't have anything to do. So I'm actually really sick of getting into fights. Um, let's see, I was staying at a squat called the uh, Culture Palace, and there was a chick, a very psycho chick. Um, let's see, what did she do? It was pretty incredible. Sang to me for about four hours. Love songs, acapella on a mic, like I have right now talking to you. And, um, to make a long story short, uh, I lost all my contacts because someone stole my cell phone. Well, I had to get on the mic and tell her I didn't know her. She doesn't know me. Everything that she knows and likes about me is completely superficial or because I'm Hello from Paris. Um, this is Zach again. I uh, just wanted to make an audio dialogue about what's been going on here in Paris. Um, a lot of crazy things. Let's see, from squat to squat, my stuff has been stolen, broken, got attacked by stupid so-called artistic Nazis.